everyone, Cassidy Quinn here. I hope you are all healthy, safe, and as relaxed as you possibly can be right now at home like I am. Today, we are going to conduct an experiment. An experiment that will definitely differ from all of the how many shows can I binge watch in a row experiments that I've been doing from my couch. This is an experiment that everyone can do, whether you're a kid or an adult just feeling like a kid being trapped inside all the time. And hopefully this is a project you can do with supplies you already have in your house. Speaking of being in your house, you may be sick of all the decorations you have in your house looking for something new to spruce things up. Today we are going to make a lava lamp. I found this experiment on sciencefun.org, so that is the tutorial I'm going to be following. Here's what you're going to need for this project. A clean plastic bottle, preferably one with smooth sides. Water, vegetable oil, fizzing tablets such as Alka-Seltzer, and food coloring. Okay, so let's get started. First up, we just need to take our water bottle and we're going to fill it about a quarter of the way with water. Going to try not to spill. Actually, maybe that was a third. See, this is why we're doing this outside. We can just dump a little out. There we go. <laughs> then it says pour in the vegetable oil until the bottle is almost full. Um, I'm immediately regretting using such a large water bottle, but it was the only one I had at my house. Whoa, this looks weird. I feel like I'm making salad dressing. It looks like our oil and water has already separated. If it hasn't, that's okay. You can just wait a few minutes until you can see the oil is separate from the water. My hands are now covered in oil. See, again, this is why we're outside. Next, we're gonna take a couple drops of our food coloring and put it into the bottle and see where it ends up. Do we think it's gonna be on top of the oil, under the oil, on top of the water? My guess, uh, it's gonna go in between. It's gonna go in between the layers. Okay, let's take a couple drops. Oh, they're just dropping down. Are they gonna land in the middle? I think so, weird. What? The imaginary line between the oil and the water actually has become just a little shelf for those blobs of food coloring to sit on. Let's add some more, why not? Woo, there they go. Can you guys see the food coloring? Just floating there in between the layers. Okay, let's keep going, this is cool. We have one more thing to add for the final step, and it's the Alka-Seltzer. The instructions say we're supposed to break the fizzy tablet in half, and then we're gonna drop half of it into the bottle, and I think something exciting is going to happen. Are you guys ready? This is the moment. Hmm. Okay, it's sunk to the bottom. It's gonna start to fizz. Oh, it's going, it's going. Oh my gosh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, guys, it's mixing all the food coloring up. Oh, that's cool. This is magic. Magic things are happening. Look at that. It's created these little lava blobs. That's so weird. What happens if we put the lid on and we shake it? Is this a bad idea? It just turned into a weird mixture of blue oil and water. It kind of looks sparkly. Can you see that? Now do we think if we let it sit for a while it'll separate again? So clearly we're doing science today. It looks magic, it looks really cool, but it is actually based in science. So here's how it works. Oil and water have different densities. Water is more dense than oil, so it sinks to the bottom and the oil just sits on top of the water as we saw. Now the food coloring has the same density as the water, which is why it went and just hung out with the water when we first put those drops in. Now the tablet, of course, is heavier than both the oil and the water, so when we put the tablet in, it sinks all the way to the bottom and then starts dissolving. As it dissolves, it creates gas, which is then lighter than water and oil, so that turns into little bubbles that float up to the top. But then those little bubbles, they grabbed some food coloring with them. That's why they were blue. So they float up, but then the food coloring weighs them back down into the water. And then they just keep going and going and lava lamping around until the tablet is fully dissolved. So, great news is we can do it again as long as we have more tablets. And yes, the oil on the water did separate once again. Should we just do it again? Just for funsies? Pew! Oh, 
Here come bubbles! Here come the bubbles! I didn't think it was gonna work for a second, but the bubbles are beginning. It just takes a minute. You gotta be patient <laughs> with your fizzy tablets and the world. Science teaches us lots of lessons. Woohoo! Look at the lava go! <laughs> So there you go, we made a lava lamp today, guys. That is something to be proud of. So thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up for making a lava lamp. Make sure you subscribe to this KGW channel so that we can do more fun things like this together. And let me know in the comments below if you have another type of experiment we should try out together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.